in this presentation i will be talking about a new container or you can say a widget that is called grid view okay as you can see over here in the case of grid view i mentioned how many columns there would be so there would be two columns i am not specifying number of rows number of rows would be determined based on the element which it will be generating over here and i have mentioned the spacing that what should be the spacing between each of these columns otherwise they will get collapsed with one another and i have given one id over here by the name called grid view okay so that what i have done over here so in order to understand what exactly the output would be let me show you the emulator and here it is this is what you can see this is what the grid view is it has got two columns so exactly there are two columns and there are certain images are there which you can see particular images will particular tell you that which one are selected so this is zero this is one this is two this is three, this is four and this next one follows accordingly okay so this whole thing will be present within this particular container that is called grid view so how did i manage to do all this thing let's get into the coding part so as we move to the main activity i have declared the reference variable of the class grid view and there are some images in my drawable folder if i expand my drawable folder you will be able to see these images i have written in the form of an integer array right so that what the initial declaration has to be done now coming to the on create method here i have initialized um, i have uh, given the initialization of the grid view and now the most important part is how did i manage to create these images in, within the grid and for that reason i have created one class called adapter okay that's a class name which i have given if you come to the project you will find that here the class belongs to let me expand the package name here the class is it is a plain simple java class it is not an activity because i have got only one xml file and that is of the activity underscore main so adapter is a plain simple java class let's switch over here and this particular class would extend the base adapter now why am i extending base adapter because i have to perform a repetitive process by which these images should be displayed within your grid view so the entire repetition has to be done by a special class which is called base adapter and if you see this particular base adapter it is going to work on the least adapter okay least adapter spin and adapter that means this particular concept can be applicable even for list view also even for spinner also so base class has few method if you see over here it's an abstract class so obviously it will be having some interfaces so these are the abstract methods which i have to implement so by default you have to implement four abstract methods the first one is get count get item get item id and get view okay we will discuss each of them but the most important thing which will struck your mind rather it should struck your mind is how do you connect this particular class with your main activity and for that reason what we have to do is that we have to create a constructor see over here we have given a call to the class adapter and here is my reference variable and this referencing has been done with the help of a constructor and in the constructor i'm passing this that means i'm passing the context and i'm also passing the integer type array which holds all the images so this particular two argument will come to this particular constructor so m constructor a uh, context is holding to hold the reference of your main activity and all the images that you have written in the drawable folder those thing will be connected over here hence this particular two variable got initialized okay so this particular constructor is very much responsible to connect between your main activity with your adapter class so keep this thing in mind otherwise there will be no connectivity among each other okay because this is simply a plain java class it is not an activity so app compact activity or will not be extended over here because we have to extend the base adapter and java do not support multiple inheritance so naturally this thing has to be done uh, in this way only okay now let's come to each of this method the first method is get count it will tell me how many items are there based on this particular array so that may number of time the iteration has to take place why why i am saying it's the iteration because each element which you will see in this grid view need to be iterated again and again then only they will be appearing within your grid view okay now one more important thing i have to say is that the base adapter will provide you these abstract methods and these are call back methods that means they know which when 
which method to be called when. So we don't literally have to call them. We just need to define their body. The calling will be taken care by the app itself. Okay. So get count will tell you how many elements are there in the array. And for that reason, we have given a call to the dot length. So that means number of times iteration will be taking place. Now, while you iterating, each time you have to display one item. Okay. You have to specify which particular item. So for that reason, you need to have a position. So this position will be used to tell that which particular element you want to fetch and that's the reason it has a return type of object so from the given array the index will be supplied and that will eventually give you the item of that particular position get item id for the time being i'm not making use of because it will be taken care with the get item itself but get view is a very important method okay and this particular method is responsible to display all these images now you might be wondering that time and again I'm using the term images so obviously you need to have some image view otherwise how the grid view which is simply a container how it will be able to display the data within it and you are absolutely right so for that reason we have to uh, programmatically we have to declare the image view and that image view will be associated with your aim context the aim context will present your main activity because it was passing this and this this got stored in the constructor and the constructor initialize this particular context variable so image view clearly knows that which particular main activity it should be associated with and now you have to work for a particular position which particular position it is going to display the image so the image view uh, will be associated with a particular image position and that will be taken care with the set image resource why set image resource because it talks about the drawable folder remember the drawable folder is a system defined folder so obviously with the help of this method set image resource it will be able to extract the image from the drawable folder. Now, when you are displaying your image view, had it been in the XML file, we always mention two properties, layout width and layout height. We always give match parent or wrap content or we can customize it with some specific unit. The same thing we have to do it over here. We have to write set layout params and within that params, we have to give a call to view group dot layout params. Remember, this particular grid view is having image view within so this image view need to have a specific width and height. So I could have written over here match parent, match parent or wrap content, wrap content. Rather I have given a specific custom value so that it will be exactly of that shape only because these images might be of different size. Okay. So I have given over here this 150 stands for a match parent or wrap content or the unit which you are providing for the width as well as for the height. So this property has to be given. Otherwise your image will get distorted. It will take the image size what what it comes by default okay now you have to scale the image so that it appears within the image view and there are a few type of scaling properties if you come over here you will find if you put a dot over here you find different type of scale properties are over here you can go for any of the scale properties i will ask you that you please cultivate uh, on each of these properties see what the difference is this time i've gone for fit minus hyphen xy so depending upon the xy position it is getting itself adapted okay and then I've given some padding left, top, right, bottom. So there are some extra spaces provided so that the image looks uh, distinct from one another. Okay. And after you have done that, then you will return the image. And after this image, image has been returned, obviously it has to be set. And for that reason, I have given a call to the set adapter. The set adapter will implement the adapter into the grid view. Then only the whole thing will be displayed within the grid view. But before that, one more thing I would like to tell you that uh, in my next video, I will be talking about these particular parameters. If you see over here, this particular parameter convert view was not used at all. So I will be using this particular parameter and I will be using the concept of layout inflator that the same program, this, this whole program will be the same. The output will be exactly the replica, what you can see right now. But in that time, I will be using layout inflator. With the help of layout inflator, I will be referring to this convert view. So the same program can be done in different way as well. Okay. So that's what my next video will be talking about. And this is going to be a very important one, layout inflator. Now, lastly, if I click any particular item, need to tell me which position it is it always start from 0th position 0 1 2 and this is the third one and for that reason we have made use of set on item click listener and in that set item click listener we have got the method called on item click and inside that we have to display a toast message and over here the position we will be getting so this position will be telling me which item i have selected so that what i am displaying it over here okay 
So I believe you got an overview of how our grid view works. Remember the grid view needs the image view, otherwise it won't be display, uh, able to display the item. And I didn't create any custom XML file, which I will be doing it in my next video, where I will be creating one more custom XML file and there where I will be inserting the image view and I will try to make use of that image view with the help of convert view. But in this particular presentation, what we have done is that there is no custom XML file, rather the image view is getting created programmatically. So that's the reason we are not getting involved with this particular convert view uh, reference variable of the view class. Okay. So I hope this particular presentation gave you some idea. So just wait for my next video. Until then, have a nice time.